everyone, my name is Hannah and today's video is a book review. Yes, and I am so excited to make this book review because I just love this book and this book is so good and I just want to read it till the end of time. I just love it so much. And it is Eve the Awakening by Jenna Moresi. I don't have a physical copy of this book actually because I read it on my Kindle so deal with it. I should probably tell you guys that Jenna Moresi, the author, is on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, which I will link down in the description. Um, she does videos on writing advice, really good writing advice at that. And she also does videos on books in general. So if you like that kind of thing, you should go check her out. Also, she's super funny and she's super sassy, which I absolutely love. So Jenna, if you're watching... So the story is set in the future and it is about this girl called Evelyn Kingston who is a chimera and in this story chimeras are just a subspecies of human who have just evolved to become genetically better so they can run faster, they're healthier and they just look better and they're just more evolved I guess. And because of this, humans discriminate against chimeras and give them a hard time. And so Eve grows up to be really discriminated against and really lonely. And then she goes to this prestigious university and she tries to live her life as a normal human being and tries to keep the fact that she's a chimera secret. But the university starts being attacked by interlopers and interlopers just happen to be looking out for and just trying to kill chimeras. And then the story goes from there. Alright, let's get on with the actual review, shall we? I'm gonna start off with the good things and there are like a gazillion good things about this book because it is so well written. Like, I love it to bits. So firstly, this book was super original and creative in my opinion. I haven't read a book like this before, I don't think, because it just felt so unique to the other books I've read. Um, even like in story and in tone and in just the general gist of the book feels different to me and that was really refreshing and really interesting. Second thing is I don't really go for adventure novels with a romantic subplot and that's because a lot of these kind of books that I've read before have chosen to focus on the romantic subplot rather than the actual main plot and it just kind of pisses me off to be honest but I'm so happy I gave this book a chance because I felt like this book had an amazing balance between the two I thought that there was just the right amount of romance and just the right amount of focus on the main plot can I just say that the fight scenes in this book are amazing they are nice they are just super intense and they're really easy to follow which surprised me because usually when I read adventure novels and there's an action scene I kind of get lost in all the action like suddenly she's punching him and then he's getting uh, running away suddenly and I'm just I just get confused and I just blank out and I usually skip the whole entire scene because I just can't keep up with it because I'm really dumb. But the fight scenes in this book were really intense yet they were easy enough for me to follow. So I really liked that I didn't have to skip through the fight scenes because they were really well written. Along with really amazing fight scenes, this book had really amazing gore. And I know gore is not everyone's cup of tea, but I just really love reading gore. This is just this is just my thing. I just like reading gore. And also I think by reading a lot of gory details, it shows that the author is not holding back. Like she's just writing what she wants to write and she's not worried about like making someone uncomfortable because if that's her book. She wants to write what she writes. So if you're not into gore, I don't think this book is for you because there are quite a bit of graphic images but it is so entertaining in my opinion because I just love the gore. On a completely different note, the humor in this book is wonderful. This book is set a few decades in the future so there's a whole new bunch of slang words and there's a lot of new insults and it's just amazing. The insults are so funny. I think I tweeted about one of them um, but it was so funny and I just died laughing at the insults and there were scenes that just made me smile and made me laugh until I cried. It was so amazing and I think that is really good comic relief and I think that comic relief was really needed after the intensity of the fight scenes and all the drama that's going on around the story. Um, so I think it had a good balance of, you know, intense 
scenes and some light-hearted ones so I thought that was really amazing. The characters in this book felt really three-dimensional. They felt like real people and they felt like my friends. Uh, I know I don't have any friends. The characters in this book were really three-dimensional. I felt like they were real people, they were really believable, and I felt like each one of them, even the supporting characters, had a really good development. And that's what uh, I really like about this book. It felt real. And I've come across this a few times, but sometimes when I read a sci-fi book, uh, the author sets up this science thing that you have to understand to understand the whole story. And a lot of the time, because I'm dumb, I don't understand the science-y thing because it's a bit complex for me. But I felt like this story was easy enough to follow, but then complicated enough to be interesting. So my only real issue with the book is that I feel like the ending was kind of rushed. Um, it's not very rushed to the point where like I completely hate this book. It's sort of rushed in my opinion. Um, I also think that the climax is like towards the end of the book. Like literally the last few pages are the climax for me. Uh, so maybe I would have liked a, you know, like a really nice, smooth ending, if that made any sense, like more of a calm ending rather than such an intense one. But I think um, that's a marketing point as well. So, um, you know, Jenna Morrissey, you do your thing. And the last thing I have to say about this book is that I kind of feel like the main protagonist, Eve, is kind of described like the author, Jenna Morassi. If you watch her videos, you can see the similarities in the physical description and maybe a bit of the personality. But I totally get it, you know, whenever I write a character, I tend to describe them as myself. I completely get it, but I just feel like I didn't really like that. But nevertheless, I really liked the character of Eve and I really, really enjoyed this book. I do have to say though that if you are 13 or younger, you probably shouldn't read this book because there's a lot of swear words and there's a lot of mature themes. That's all I'm gonna say. Nevertheless, this is an amazing book. You should totally go check it out. And also don't forget to check out Jenna Moresi, the author's channel. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you read this book and you enjoy it. And once you read the book, come back here and tell me what you thought of it because I just want to talk about this book and no one else in my friendship group has read this book. And I'm really sad about that because I really want to talk about this book and it's so good. Uh, but. What, what can you do, right? So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Woo